everybody! Today is day 23 of our Greater Than One Challenge, and today's topic is the cure. Now, obviously, we haven't talked about this topic before, but I know I have put in a couple of videos how there is no cure for diabetes. Now, although we have insulin, and we have pumps, and CGMs, and diabetic alert dogs, and all these amazing things that help us manage our disease, we currently have no cure. Now, we can do things like pancreatic transplants, where we actually do get a transplant. But usually, you have to have something wrong with your kidneys in order to get them done at the same time kind of thing. And it's not a cure. Yes, the person does go into remission and does not have type 1 for a period of time. But the antibodies and the immune system kick in and eventually kill off your new pancreas. So that's not really a cure because then you end up with type 1 all over again. So you do get some reprieve. You do get a remission period. But you do have to have certain things in line in order to do that, like kidney failure and things like that. Um, some other things that they've gotten to is like artificial pancreases or looping. Now, looping is really cool. We haven't talked about this. Now, it's not a cure because there is no cure for type 1 diabetes. Now, looping is really neat. That's where you have a pump like I've shown you guys my Omnipod. You take your pump and a CGM like a Dexcom or a, a Knight Rider or they have several other ones. Dexcom is the one I want. I don't know if they've gotten one with the Eversense, which is another CGM. Um, but I do not think that it works with a Libre. Now, what this means is that you take your CGM, your continuous glucose monitor that reads every five minutes automatically, and you take your pump, and you take a computer, and you write a new program. When you write this special program, now your phone or your smartwatch or whatever will take the program for the pump and for the CGM and put them together. And then when you get your blood sugar reading every five minutes, your pump will either give you more insulin, give you less insulin, turn itself off, and do these things and make decisions for you every five minutes. Now, you do still have to count your carbs, and you still have to bolus, but it will make these changes in your base insulin instead of just letting you go and you having to make the choice and make the change. So it just kind of adjusts small things for you automatically so you think less about your diabetes. But it's not a cure. No matter what we have out right now and how fantastic it is, we have no cure. There is not a cure for type 1 diabetes. And then that's why we do things like raising awareness every November or doing the one walks or doing the galas or the ride for the cure or the whole mess of fundraising activities that we have is so that we can get a cure because that's desperately needed and JDRF is a great organization they work really hard and they're usually pretty cutting edge with things and technology and information and especially spreading that information around I'm very grateful to the JDRF and all the amazing people that are out there working so very hard for people like myself and others and all those wonderful people that you saw on my type 1 heroes video those people are all waiting for a cure and I know there's tons of diseases out there that don't have cures and type 1 is one of them so we really need to start getting the funding to these kind of organizations and these kind of scientists and if you have type 1 volunteer I know it's not a sure thing but they do need study groups. They do need participants when it comes to trying new medications and new things and seeing what works and what doesn't for us. So even though we do have a lowered immune system and we are already sick, we do need to participate in these clinical trials and things or we will never get a cure. If we don't take certain steps now, then we won't have the leaps in the technology that we need later. So... Although there's no cure, we are all working hard to fund one and find one. And so go ahead and join whoever you know that has type 1 or go out and form your own team. Walk yourself. Find something to help. Anything helps. Every little bit. 
You can always make a donation to the Fighting Flamingos. Whenever our walk comes around, we'll put our new link up. The walk for 2018 is over. 19. 2019 is over. Obviously, 18 has gone, right? Um, 2019 is over, and they have shut down my link. So we will be getting a new link for the new walk season. So be on the lookout for that. We'll do a big video and just help somebody out because there's not a cure. And like we said, the burnout is real. So help somebody out. Help us find a cure. We'll talk to you later, guys. Don't forget the Hey Taylor. That's how you can make a difference right now. Comment Hey Taylor if you haven't done it before. And we will give $10 to Taylor's JDRF team. We don't know what his team is called yet, but when he has his team, we'll give $10. Fighting Flamingos will donate. So go ahead and comment below. Hey, Taylor, go check out all of our other videos. We have a whole selection of videos. Go find you something you like. Bye, guys.